Casey, thank you so much for this beautiful breakfast. No, thank you. you you're, you're not even letting me pay. I do hope that you two could work things out together. You made an absolutely beautiful couple. Uh, Grams, Grams, it's... Um... And when I looked at you, I watched you. I wondered if I wasn't looking to a great-great-grandchild. Well, I hope that we didn't let you down. Oh, no, Allison. You were just listening to your hearts. You have to. Sometimes I think mine needs an interpreter. Yeah, um, I, I think we should get back to work. Granddad hates it when I'm late. Uh, would you like us to give you a ride home? No, thank you, dear. I'm meeting Kim here later. Okay, good, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, Nancy. Uh, can I get one for the road? I know what you're thinking. Nancy might have a great-great-grandchild sooner than she thinks. Morning, Nancy. From the sound of your voice, I don't think you mean that. Oh, no, I, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound so surly. You're right. You're right, as usual. It's actually been a pretty lousy morning. Is the baby all right? Oh, yeah, he's perfect. Jacob, I can deal with. He's about the only man I can deal with lately. Being in this place must remind you of Brad. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But being everywhere reminds me of him. I'll walk past Al's and find myself repeating his burger order out loud. Or I'll go to the lake view and sit at his favorite table and not even realize it. Or, you know, the bench in Old Town. I walk by and I just imagine him sitting there waiting for me to do my clothes shopping. Chris was allergic to shopping, too. <laughs> it's not just that. It's just... Everybody knew Brad. Or if they didn't, they felt like they did because of the show. So I'll be walking down the street or at the mall and people will just walk up to me and put their arms around me and tell me how sorry they are. And I just, it's all I can do not to scream. But sometimes I'll be having a really lonely or sad day and someone will say something really kind to me and I just feel like it's Brad sending me a message, you know? I do. And then there's Jacob. Lately, he's been looking at me like his daddy used to, like I'm the center of the universe, or completely insane. And he does this little thing with his feet where he wiggles them back and forth, and it used to drive me crazy when Brad did it, but when Jacob does it, I just don't want him to stop because Brad was the love of my life, and I don't want to forget him. Don't worry, dear. It's not possible. You won't forget him. Trust me. How did you move on after Chris died? How did you fall in love again? It was very difficult. I took a long time. Yeah, I don't know if I could let myself go there again. Don't push yourself, dear. Know that you have to be ready to fall in love again. And I don't think you are. Neither do I.